Yeah, I want to do a quick video of how I use Flippity to make manipulatives. Well, Flippity can make manipulatives, but using uh, custom images to make game boards and uh, worksheets or anything interactive using their uh, manipulatives with a custom background. So I've used various games with it, and I'll just, just for today, I'm going to show you. I'll do it with a word grid. This is um, just a Google slide image of a six by six word grid. And we would play connect for something that, but something with it, but I'm going to show you how I might use this to make a flippity game. So first thing I do is I'm going to, I've got this image and I want to make it an image. So I have to download it as either a JPEG or PNG. And I think I've read that PNGs are better, so I download it as a PNG. And then in Flippity, you have to have your image residing in online. So the way I figured out to do that is to go over to this site called ImageBB. I don't know what it stands for, but it says, Let's upload an image, and I'm going to take the, the PNG that I downloaded and stick it here and upload it. And it happens that quickly. And I want to link, and the link here, it's a PNG link, so it has to be a direct link so that the extension is PNG. I just copy that. And then I'm going to put that into the Flippity. So, over in flippity.net, I want their flippity manipulatives. So you download the template. Yep, make a copy if you haven't already done that. Make a copy of the template. And you want to delete everything on this first page. Not, not the row one with the blue tiles, blue coloring in the background, but all of these words they have, have in here as a demo. Delete that. We're going to put something else in there. Come over here to the background sheets and put in whatever you want to call it. I might call it a grid. And you control V, put the paste of the PNG in there. Now here, what I'm going to do, just because it makes my kids feel good, is I'm going to put their names so they can mark their pieces when we play Connect Four. So I would put, uh, say, Sarah. And I'm going to give Sarah several pieces. There was 36 pieces to cover the whole board. I might do maybe 15. And then I'll do me and do 15 of those. This. And I can even say all of Sarah's, I should have done that the first time, will be uh, green. Copied that all at the same time, but I didn't think about that. And all of mine will be blue. That's going to make the manipulatives, like the checkers that you would put into a game or the markers. Okay, that's it. Come up here to file. My board. Oh, I'm sorry, one more thing before we do that. Change the name here of this sheet where it says demo. I'm going to change the name to, change, sorry, rename. And I'll call that, uh, what was that grid? Uh, it was the VCCV grid. That'll be the name of the game once we get it. And when you go up to File, hit Publish to Web. Publish, and it'll ask, are you sure? And you just say yes. 
that's it. Don't worry about this that's right here. That's not what we need. What we need, X out of that, and go to the tab here where it says get the link here. There's that link. That's it. So you just put the cursor on that and go to the active link. It'll open up in a new tab. There we have all of our pieces. Where's the board? You can come here to the gear icon, go to the background, and it's there in grid. So then I like to make the pieces a little smaller and move them out of the way. So before we set up, before I uh, have my student come into class, I might even stack all of hers on one side. Um, all of mine on the other. So as we roll our dice and we're going to try to play connect four and she rolls a certain number and she's going to read a word in that grid and then she'll put her marker on that word. Then I'll roll a dice and I'll read a word on my side. And, uh, and there we have a very quick way to make manipulatives to put onto a background like, like a game board. So I have used this to make um, other game boards where it actually has a visual game board and, uh, and you just um, have like little markers that you move along the game. Anyway, so custom image or custom background in Flippity. Once you get this, save that link so you don't have to recreate it. You just save the link, copy it, paste it into, uh, uh, I keep a document of my Flippity games and um, that way I have it all there. And I just say, that's the game I want and I can pull it up. Okay, that's it. Hope that's helpful. That's it.